Frederick Robinson here with Fast Freddy RC. Today I want to take you through the build process of the 114 scale Tamiya flatbed trailer. Uh, one of the reasons I'm actually creating this video series is simply because I went looking online for something that would give me some information about this trailer and there just wasn't enough in-depth um, information on the build. Um, and in having built it, uh, there's a few key things that I think everybody should should know. Um, I'm fascinated by the scale model series and I'd always wondered how I was going to get into it. And I thought, you know what, why don't start with a flatbed trailer? It's actually the most affordable way of getting into this um, model series. So if you're on a budget um, and you want to at least tr try it out, getting the flatbed trailer is your best option. Um, but I think there's some things you should be aware of. Now originally I was only going to build the trailer as is, out of the box, and, and here we are. But the more I got into it, the more I realized that if you wanted to buy any of the upgrade pieces for this, including the lights, um, you really should have, should be doing it beforehand. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things. Um, I, I love it. I mean, the fact that it, it is 100% a metal uh, chassis. Most of the products I've built in the past have all been plastic model kits. Um, but here's a couple of things to look at. At the back the lights okay now originally I wasn't going to buy the lighting kit uh, and I figured I'd just get it later but the way in which this kit is built you pretty much have to buy it first and the reason being is that the wood flatbed is uh, you you stick it down with double-sided tape but the wiring from all of the lights which you can you can see here uh, comes out of the lights into the hole and runs lengthwise under here all the way to the end to the end which means that if you want to put this together afterwards um, you're gonna have to rip up all the wood that you've already put down so I decided you know what I'm gonna buy the light kit and that way I can I can deal with that right right off the bat now there were some challenges with that too so this is the Tamiya uh, light kit, uh, but the way the lights are, as you can see here, this is designed as two red on either side and a turn signal. I built it to the kit's specifications, but the problem is the, there is only one red light for your brake lights and tail lights and one turn signal. And I didn't want the light to be on the inside because I think that's kind of weird. So I have put it on the outside, which is okay, but it's it's a little tight. So the wiring in uh, back here is a little tighter than I'd want it to be, but I'm giving it a shot and hopefully that doesn't cause me some problems down the line. And then of course the turn signals. Um, the other piece is when I decided to actually go and put the wood framing, um, the wood deck down, um, I would strongly suggest not following the instructions the way they have it in the manual. I actually absolutely love the Tamiya uh, manuals or build um, instructions, but there's a few things that I found on this kit that just didn't work. And the reason being is they ask you to build from the middle, center, and out. So when I, you know, you, you know, you, what's the, the whole thing? Check, check, check again. I did all of that um, and then got the center one. But by the time I got to the sides, there's no, there wasn't enough room to put another strip on this side and there wasn't enough room to put another strip on that side. So quickly I tore everything back off. And what I decided to do was I would start at one end and work my way to the other end. And what I found is because you can adjust the sides when you're putting it together, like they, they essentially, the metal framing will come apart and then you can push them together. I spread them as far wide as I could, then laid them out. And then when I, by the time I got to one, to the other side, I actually could squeeze another one in. And I've seen different videos uh, online where somebody has ended up having to trim one of the strips. If you build it from outside and just go right across, you're not gonna have that problem. Now, the only thing that's different is I'm sure if you can see this, that is not perfectly center. 
but I don't care. I don't understand. It, it, to me, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. So the the center piece is not directly center underneath that. If that if you if you can if you can see that, um, that's really the only thing that was a was really a concern. But there was another part to this, and you'll notice I have um, all of these here. They were on the truck. Uh, and I would could have kept them. I mean, it's m mainly for like if you want to haul logs or something, some bigger items like that. And I love the idea of having the the framework and the chains. But here's where the problem came in with that: the way this this is built, all of these pieces, which allow you to have the the framing, um, there is a lock nut that ties these pieces straight up and down which means that if you want this is to be a flatbed after the fact you can't unless you tear up the wood again to get to the lock nut to be able to undo the connection to keep them and i just decided that i'm actually more interested in using this as a true flatbed as opposed to it being a logging truck so i went back and took those off before i put the wood framing down um, and so I think that's worth noting that if you do not, if you want to use this as a, as an actual flatbed, not a logging truck, be aware that when you put those pieces on and then you put the wood framing down, you may not be able to get it off again. Um, anyways, because I ended up having to buy the lights, I, I ended up going, well, you know what, if I'm going to buy the lights, I might as well build up the kit uh, with some other accessories. So I ended up getting some fast eddy bearings. Um, I actually really like the company. They're quick. It's easy to, you know, if you want to order a set, they, they have tons of different um, bearings for different Tamiya kits and uh, other kits, but it's, it's real easy because they've already put them in the special bags and uh, their shipping is pretty good too. So I decided to do that. So, you know, now the, the bearings for these, um, it's going to run nice and smooth. And of course, you know, you can see underneath here, love the scale um, the scale suspension with this um, so it's very realistic um, especially with the shocks and of course the uh, the rubber uh, the rubber mud flaps so this is an extremely well um, detailed scale trailer kit um, in the end, I'm actually looking forward to building the uh, Tamiya Cascadia Evo. Uh, that'll be next on the list. I'm in the build process right now, um, so I will have another video out. But if you're interested in know knowing more, uh, learning more about even the Cascadia or uh, this kit in particular, I will put more videos out with it actually in motion after the truck is built. So feel free to subscribe to Fast Freddy RC. And, uh, I'll keep you posted with more videos. Uh, until then, uh, enjoy your RC journey. Bye for now.